Hello everybody, welcome to day one of the vlog. There's my horse spooking at something. Well, he looked at it weird. Um, anyhow, today's been such a busy day. I don't have any competition today, but I am like driving him up there today and then dressage is first thing in the morning. <sighs> I'm so tired, it's only two o'clock. Um, so I got up early, went to work this morning and then I had to stop at a few places got lunch and I went to the barn um, I've just been like packing stuff and I've been too busy trying to pack to really film or set anything up to film so right now Ami and I are <laughs> really that's what we're doing no um it's been like pretty cold and cloudy all day today but for these couple hours I've been here and I'm blinded it's actually been pretty sunny, but it's usually always colder. Well, I think it's supposed to be colder in Temecula, which is where the event is that we're going to. So, Ami, come on. So I figured that I would just bathe him right now in case, you know, while it's still hot, in case I get stuck in traffic going up to Galway. And then by the time we got there, it'd be like cold and getting dark. So I want to give him a bath first and I'm just walking him until he dries and then what am I gonna do? I guess go hook up my trailer, load my trailer, and load him and go. And then when I get there, I'll get his stall set up, go for another walk, and I don't know, maybe do some homework. I have a ton of homework to do, unfortunately, so I might have to go find a Starbucks. But yeah, um, Temecula, well I should say Galway, it's about an hour and a half drive with a trailer with no traffic. So hopefully I can beat the traffic. See you guys later. Hey guys, I am currently in my truck. It is full of stuff, like there's my shoes and my stuff. Anyhow, um, it is super late. It's almost 10.30 at night and it's just really dark. And when I do the video, when I like reverse the video and face me so I can see it recording, uh, I can't do a flash, so that's why you're not looking at me as I talk, you're looking at my truck. There's a random trailer. There's my trailer. Um, and that's, you can't really see out there. What? No. Moon. There's the moon. No, that's my camera reflection. Ha! <laughs> that's funny. Is that my camera reflection or is that the moon? That's the moon. That's my camera flash reflection. That's the moon. Yeah, um, wow, I'm like so delirious, it's late. Anyhow, I didn't film earlier because I left my barn around three to head up to Temecula. It normally only takes an hour and a half with, or without traffic, but with a trailer. There was really bad traffic today, so I didn't even get here until 5.40, and right now it, the sun sets at six, so I was running out of daylight really fast. Um, so basically, I unloaded Ami, stuck him in the stall, unloaded a bunch of my stuff really fast. Then I had to drive to park my trailer, which is kind of far from the stabling area. And then I had to drive back to Ami, and then I couldn't park super close to a stall. So I had to park kind of far away, then hike over and set up a stall and all that stuff. And the office had already closed by then, so I couldn't pick up my packet. Instead, Ami and I went on a walk and there was a bunch of big, new, scary stuff and he didn't care, which is a good boy. There's my drinks from earlier. But yeah, um, other than that, I ended up finishing around here at the barn around like 7.40 and I still had homework to do, so I drove to Starbucks, which is only five minutes down the road and sat in there bought a hot chocolate because if I drink caffeine I will not be able to sleep and I brought my laptop too so I was able to get some homework done. There's my laptop. There's a cookie I was eating earlier. There's my purse. Um, this is my laptop that I use for school and I even have a USCA sticker on it but um, anyhow I was working on a couple assignments for my different classes until Starbucks closed at 10 and basically got kicked out at 10 so Yep, that's it. Um, I'm gonna go to bed now. I am sleeping in my truck because I am a broke college student. 
and I'm not paying a couple hundred for one night in hotel. Sorry. Good night, guys. Hey, everybody. Um, okay, so this is the next day. This is technically Friday morning, and I rode pretty early, so I didn't have time to vlog getting ready. But my stepdad, Jamie, came up super early to help me get ready and pull and braid and all that. And he was insanely crazy during warm up, super reactive, super sensitive, just super tense. I don't know how many times I can say super, but I'm sure I'm going to say super again. Uh, he was just a handful, not listening, super tense, choppy. Um, he literally gave me the worst dressage ride I've ever had on him, like the worst test ridden. But weirdly enough, he scored the best he's ever scored, which is really weird considering the last test we did at Shepherd was the best ride he's given me, but it scored, I think, a point and a half worse than this test. So I guess that's just all the judge's opinion. I haven't ridden with this judge before. I think his name is Axel Steiner, if I remember correctly. He was a really nice guy, and apparently he liked Ami, even though he was being literally insane. Our transitions weren't prompt, they were late. He does a nasty free walk. I don't even call it a free walk, and then he jigs. But anyhow, um, I didn't know anybody was recording this. Uh, but yeah, Jamie tried recording at the very beginning. As you saw, there was a couple clips in the first half, but the test was not recorded. He thought he was on video, but it turns out he was on the camera mode. So he tried taking a video and had some difficulties. So that's why there's a couple of two and four second clips in the beginning. Oh yeah, wasn't that transition just lovely? I think one of the remarks I got here was nice recovery. But um, I was really surprised at his marks and he just was terrible in this test. I was so disappointed. I was ready to give up eventing at this point. I just feel like I work so hard and put so much time and energy into training and going to these shows and spending money, of course. I mean, they're not cheap. I believe this event cost about $430 just for the entry fee, show office fees, and the stall fee. That doesn't include trainering up um, any trainer costs. That doesn't include hotel costs, but as you've already seen, I slept in my truck last night because. I can't afford it after paying for this, and that's why I only do events two, maybe three times a year if I'm lucky. But um, I was pretty discouraged, and that was our hideous stretchy trot, which I wouldn't even call it a stretchy trot. And this is supposed to be our lengthened trot, which is one of our not so good spots. Um, yeah, nothing more to say there. And this turn down center line was okay. And then I was like, okay, maybe I can make something out of this test. Wait for it. Yep, he tripped. But he had a nice haul, and my mom actually bought a couple pictures from the official photographer, and one of them was of the haul. And it hey, was Jamie, beautiful. how did this morning go? <laughs> <laughs> Not good. It so wasn't, me. wasn't that bad. He was great last night, and then this morning, he was sweaty again, kind of like how he was at Shepherd, which is weird because he's never done that before. And so he dried off pretty quick. So I put a cooler on him because it was still like freezing. Braided him. He was so like weird, shaking his head, being a yes, a B word. Um, they're staying behind me. Um, really hard to braid, so the braids didn't come out that great. They were okay. And then we walked down to do our test. And I was kind of in a hurry this morning, so that's why I didn't vlog. Um, but Jamie came on his day off to help me. Props for the best barn dad. But um, warm-up was terrible. It was super crowded. I kept getting cut off and people almost running into us. And I had to stop several times. He was so hyper crazy, the worst he's ever been in a warm-up. And then our test was the worst test we've ever done. Like as far as his performance and everything. And I was just like, oh my god, this is gonna be maybe a 47 or 50. Because it's the training B test. And apparently the judge really likes him because he gave him the best score we've ever gotten to date, which is terrible. Mm -hmm. So I won't complain. But I just picked up my test and I'll flip it over and show you guys. Alright, so this is what I got. 
straight but tense, restricted, unbalanced, a little better, bracing, a little conservative, mouth issues, uh, unclear rhythm, resistance, resistance, nice recovery, more jump, conservative tension, much more forward, down, longer stride, and a little unbalanced X. But he gave him like seven, six, seven, where's that? Yeah, there's the four and a half, five, seven, five and five. a half, five and a half. And then we got those. Um, nice pair, horse restricted at times. Walk is a problem. Yes, walk's always a problem. But um, that judge was extremely nice. So, and then, um, so we were walking over cross country and then I realized I left my little program booklet up at the office. So we are walking back because I need the course printout for cross country so we know where we're walking. So we're out walking cross country now. There's the dressage warm up arena. And then farther over there is where I did my dressage test. Out there is the track. Um, that's first fence. All of this is part of the cross country course. And the other half is on the far side of the track. Um, here's some more fences. There's the Jamie trailer parking. The stalls on these in are straight out there. More stalls way out there. Stadium green is out that way. And we're walking over to our next fence. And it's muddy, and all the mud's balling up on the bottom of our shoes. Yay! So Ami's just gonna love this deep ditch. That's the novice one, this is the training one. That's intense. But um, yeah, they have a new combination this time. So they have that log, to this ditch to that log. So, on to the next. Okay, here's the entrance to the grass warm up. Walking. Um, so, normally show jumping is in here, like this big blow up thing. There's a tent there. Normally, all this stuff is not in here and it's just a grass arena. And there's another grass warm up on the other side. So we'd have show jumping here. But, um, yeah, um, there's cross country jumps. And then where I did dressage this morning, they're setting up stadium jumps. So I don't know. But here's like the big tent and everything. 